Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Sergei Movsejan and Nicolas Rosenthal. This is a game from Pro Chess League 2019. Sergei Movsejan had white pieces and he started with e4. Nicolas Rosenthal played e6. d4, d5, the French defense. e5, the advanced variation. c5, Attacking white center, this is the standard move. c3 supporting the pawn on d4. Black to move. Queen to b6. Knight to c6 is the most played move. Queen to b6. Knight to f3. And now, no knight to c6. But bishop to d7. Usually the black light squared bishop comes late in the game. But in this variation it will come in the game early. How good is this? Let's see. Bishop to e2, bishop to b5, offering to exchange bishops. d takes on c5, bishop takes on c5. Movsejan castle at kingside. Bishop takes on e2, queen takes on e2. Black to move. Knight to c6. a5 should have been considered. You will see later why. We have knight to c6, a4, black to move. This is the critical position of the game. a5 should have been played. Back to our game. Nicolas Rosenthal played rook to c8, developing a piece. And white has a chance for carpe diem. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Obsession played b4, attacking the bishop. Bishop to f8. Well, if bishop to e7, then black can't bring his knight from g to e7. So we have bishop to f8. a5, attacking the queen. Queen to c7. Well, funnily, the queen is best placed on d8. But you can understand that player with the black pieces didn't want to bring his second piece home. So queen to c7. Knight to a3, intending knight to b5. a6. Bishop to d2. Knight on g to e7. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Move session played c4. B5 is even stronger, and one line goes like this. Knight takes on A5, B takes on A6, B takes on A6, Queen takes on A6. White is standing better. Back to our game. C4. D takes on C4, and now B5 attacking the Knight. Knight to B8, Rook from F to C1. Black is suffering from a lack of space. Rook takes on c4 or knight takes on c4, maybe next. Queen to d7. Knight takes on c4, threatening knight to d6. Knight to d5. B takes on a6, knight takes on a6, knight to g5, knight to c5. Rook from a to b1, h6, asking a question. But the knight was deaf. Movsejan played queen to h5, pinning the pawn. Knight to d3. If pawn takes knight, then queen takes rook. Back to our game. Knight to d3. Threatening to chop the rook. What is the best square for the rook? Finally, black made a threat. This is a critical position of the game for the purpose of our exercise. Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause or did you find? Move Sejan played a winning move and that is knight to d6 check. Black to move. Bishop takes on d6. What else? If king goes to d8, knight on g takes on f7 check. Bishop takes on d6. It is white to move. White played a move and black resigned, and the move is rook takes rook check. Black win is overworked and underpaid. Black resigned.
For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Queen takes on c8. Queen takes on f7 check. King to d8. Knight takes on e6 check. Queen takes knight. Queen takes queen on e6. Saving the bishop. Queen takes on d5. And I think we can stop here. And let's go back to this very interesting moment of the game. This is that critical position. a5 should have been played to prevent white's expansion on the queen side. And after a5, the position appears to be equal. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.